Everything's changed, I wanna get away Nothing ever seems the same, I don't like you Yeah, you've been acting so strange for 17 days Ever since that time you went out with the girls And you came back saying that you've been staying on a sofa You're not my whole world, I leave So I still a beast, the baby, it's over Neil here, the Rider Guider. Thanks for joining me. I've got about an eight minute video here of just uh, a bit of a commute and there's some nice hints and tips for defensive riding. I hope you like. Uh, let's go. So we're in Port Adelaide. I've immediately got a set of traffic lights coming up which are red. So I'm going to pause here right now. I've got red lights and I've got a queue of traffic on my right hand side. I've got middle lane and right lane both turn right at the junction but the mid lane also goes straight on with that scenario the first thing you want to be looking at is your mirrors making sure that there's somebody not behind you in your middle lane wanting to go straight on and hit you up the ass luckily i've got a prado in front of me which is far more prevalent to somebody's eye i, I would guess you've also got the left hand lane if they get a green arrow to go straight on whereas, whereas we I might have to turn right and wait for a filter. So I'm big watching big here straight big away. Big I'm watching for any of these cars wanting to turn. I'm obviously watching for him, but I'm watching for any of these cars jumping across into the middle lane to turn right. So I'll get up there, then I'm ticked them all off, I'm safe. But let's just go back slightly to, to the beginning of that, to there. As I'm approaching, my danger is people jumping across. You'll notice my road positioning. I posi I'll, I'll point out how I describe my roads. A lot of, a lot of people who um, talk about road positioning do this as well. But my arrow there is position one, two, centre line, three, four and five. So I, I'm immediately thinking I just don't want to be in five in case somebody jumps across. My position safely is position one. I'm indicating right as you can see and I'm safe so I can get back into a decent position and I'm there. Side of the traffic lights, chirping on about my uh, peptide pressure gauge. Right, we're going to go in a second. Immediately, I'm going to draw your attention to this vehicle in front, which is this Toyota Prado. As we go around the corner, I'm talking about vaping. There was a guy behind me in a Golf, and it, it was full of smoke. I thought, that's emissions, isn't it? Volkswagen. And he's vaping. And I could see all the smoke coming out of the window. I thought his car was on fire. Bloody vaping, what's that all about? Anyway, I've gone around the corner, immediately my attention, even though I'm talking about the Volkswagen man behind me blowing smoke, my attention's drawn immediately to this Prado. This is a bicycle lane, you can't cross solid lines. And she's in and out. And she's slow, not making any progress, and I thought, okay, there's anybody in front of her. Now, on my right shoulder, there's nobody in that lane immediately, so I'll just I have a quick of a sneak, sneaky look. A second, I'll move over in a minute. I'll have a look. No, I don't. It's after the lights when I do that. Yeah, I go there and have a quick glance down the gap. There's a car in front of me. Now, that is actually, if I move forward, there is a motorcyclist, but I can't crawl into that right lane because of the cars there. So I drop back slightly and I'm looking to change and go beyond it, but I can't do it yet. Let me just turn my volume down a bit. Let me just hit pause because I'm absolutely chirping on in the background. Let's just drop back a little, that volume down a little bit. Right, let's play again. I've got a motorcycle in front of her, but look at where she is. Here. Right. Watch her. Just dropping back a little and bit she's across the lanes again. Now I know, down, the, down here, she's right in the bicycle lane. She's not concentrating on where she is lane-wise. She's distracted. Doing something along these lines. And that's your clue. She's just not making consistent progress in speed. She's not going with the flow of traffic and she's weaving in and out of a lane. I'm giving her the benefit of the doubt at the moment. I'm thinking she's going to pull in. She's looking for somewhere to stop. Because there's businesses. I've got motoring business. I've got Repco. I've got Super Cheap Auto. I've got electrical wholesalers, etc. on the left-hand side. And lots of parking. I'm thinking she's going to pull in. So I'll give it a bit of space. And I'm chirping on about her now. But I can't really get beyond her. Probably a little bit safer with her in front of me. But I'm, I'm intrigued at what she's up to. He or she. Of course, aren't we all? Not at the road. Really I've got a bit of a gap now in front of me, so I'm just going to sneak up and have a look. Get, an idea. Get this. Straight there. 
Now, she's got two, three kids in the back. She's got a child in this side. We've got child seat. We've got another toddler on the other side. And we've got another kid sat in the middle. She, topping up the type 2 diabetes with a nice sugary ice cream. One hand on the wheel. The problem we have here in Australia, which we don't get in countries elsewhere as much that I'm aware of, is every car, 85% of the cars on the road are automatics, which leaves a hand free. If you've got a manual car, you can't be doing this because you've got to change gear all the time. And that's a problem that I've found. That's why we suffer the distracted motorists in Australia. I don't know what it's like stateside, I've not been yet. I expect they've got a fair few automatic cars out there as well. The UK is more prevalent for, for manual gearboxes, which doesn't leave your hands free for anything other than driving, which I, as biased as I am, think that makes you a better driver. And the proof is right there. She's got no idea. All she's doing is steering and braking and accelerating. She doesn't need a left hand. She can do what she wants with that, so to speak. In this instance, of course, she's got an ice cream. She doesn't really have to concentrate much on the road. She's got a big bull bar on the front. She's queen of the road. She can't really get hurt. But she's driving along, not giving a damn. And she's got her kids in the back. Pretty appalling. Really poor do. And I spotted it. Watch for that. Right. And beyond her. Watching for any of these cars changing lanes. Watching for this guy on the left there coming out. Right. Situation here now. I've got this transporter now. Let me just... Look in my mirror. She's gone to the far left hand lane, I think, in this Prado. But I'm in my immediate left lane now. I've got this thing here. It's a people carrier, um, sort of like a minibus. All good, happy. So, so I can't really go to that left lane and split yet. It's a bit too close to me. Although he is slowing and I could have done it. But it was safer that I didn't risk a rear ender from him while I. Because I wasn't 100% sure that my this Corolla here was actually going to squash me a bit or take up a little bit of this left hand lane so I waited before I could split I get to here great little tip I'm stopping now one thing I watch for on wheels on cars as you're approaching junctions is patterns if you come to a junction I'm going to show you this again in a minute if you sorry, if you're driving down the road and you've got cars coming to junctions or waiting to pull out of the junction the first thing you're going to see on a car moving isn't the whole car moving the first thing you're going to spot is the pattern on a wheel moving watch this I noticed this one stopping there so it means I can sneak through I know it wasn't accelerating it wasn't moving I got to the front right great situation that's exactly what I'm talking about here let's just drop it back a little bit further forward pause I've got wheel car here and Mitsubishi Triton you here, I think it is, or Hilux. And I mention it at the time, I'm, I actually mention it, if I just turn my volume up slightly. Here I've got cars either side. Watch for the wheels spinning, they're the first clue you'll get of a car moving out towards you. So they didn't move and I, I was safe to go, but that was, a, that was an exact example. A lot of motorcyclists for years and years have used that as a good clue and it, you should use it. If you're not aware of that, it's a great tip. Watch for wheels moving as you approach junctions on cars so yeah guys ride safely keep it rubber side down at least one wheel would be preferable and thank you for watching that little upload there are going to be a lot of changes coming up the way I'm creating the content is going to be a lot more informative if you like what you see give it a thumbs please comment give me a subscribe appreciate it and thank you for watching see you soon